One of our big problems going in is how do you film a race that's two days down this river that has almost no road access. There's only certain key points on the river that you can access, little bridges and waterways. There was no way any of the crew could get onto kayaks because it was just way too dangerous. I'm like, I'm, I'm talking life or death dangerous. So GoPros were our friends. We put a lot of these small GoPro cameras on the boat. And we gave them one waterproof camera. When they did fall out of their boat, Simon always had that camera. There we are below double trouble. One paddle left in our boat. And, and was able to get some amazing footage that we use in our trailer and our teases and stuff. When they pulled out from the race about an hour and a half into day one, they had that camera on them. They could pull it out and they could start to film themselves. So. <laughs> We're both bleeding from going down the rapids. <laughs> I smoked a rock in my knee. Oh, we're like five to seven kilometers in. Uh, we're done. We uh, cry. We we bailed. Look we at this bailed. Knee, dude. I smoked my knee on a rock. I can't and afford to bounce off any more rocks. I mean, we um, we had good moments, and then we you know you have a bad moment, but then you have to swim with the boat. And then you're freezing. You're freezing. You're you shaking the whole time. It was just one calamity after another and uh, you know what for sure we bit off way more than we chew on this one Simon and Turbo um, did really brutal they actually dropped out I said dude, <laughs> dude yeah <laughs> you want to uh, you want to throw in the <laughs> towel and didn't take much convincing <laughs> at that point so that was another challenge for the crew you know especially for Josh to be like oh sh you know sh where does this story go we can't we don't have an episode you know it's a waste of money like this sucks and all the time we're trying to figure out how the hell are we going to salvage this episode. If they're not going to race tomorrow, if they get back in the water for 20 minutes and, you know, break their kneecaps open, we don't have a show. But then the whole team got together and we talked about it and the next day we linked them up with two pros and they raced separately, but then they again raced against one another, which was another cool thing of uh, competition to see between the two of them. Uh, and then they weren't falling and they actually got through the race and they actually had a really, really good time. I feel like we were able to capture all the key moments really well and um, it's just an amazing life experience to be down in South Africa covering this race. Um, I'm not sure if Simon Turbo would say the same thing, but 